just do something with my kids for the Convo Fair. Last year was closed, this year it's actually in person. We baked all day and I can't show you guys the contest entries just yet, but it is currently Thursday and we're gonna go drop off all of our stuff. We're just on a night walk right now, just me and Silvio taking a relaxing time. Say hi Sylvie and your duck, say hi. <laughs> little farming update for you guys. That is the sod field that you guys see in front of us. Say sod. Say sod. And these are our beans. They're not the best this year due to no rain, but we did get a lot of rain just recently. So hopefully it picks up. We're going to walk try and do walks at least once a night or at least once a day so that we get our exercise in. Tonight I just brought Silvio. Usually I bring all the kids because we have my nephew on the weekends, but I just bought Sylvia today so we could have a little time out. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and finish our walk. It's a pretty good night to have a walk. There's a little bit of a breeze and it's like a little bit nice, but the sun is setting in one of my favorites. Robbie Lynn Bach Trepani, please. Uh, no, Robbie Lynn Bach Trepani. Okay. Olivia, do you mind grabbing this? Olivia, do you mind grabbing this? For, uh, we had given you one. Robbie Lynn. Yeah, and then they gave you, um, yes, they... Yes, you got a description, so I just want to make sure it was four. I couldn't remember. Okay, so my husband came to get us at the end of our walk. Um, he came to get us because I had to go get my medication. We got a little bug back here. My husband's over there. We're just filling up some gas. We're gonna go get a coffee, and then my husband got a little Panzerotti pizza. Um, it is currently about to be 9.30. Our room is currently drying because we had a huge thumb, uh, storm, and our room flooded. So, gotta be out of our room for a little bit, but say hi. Say hi, Sylvie. <laughs> He's grumpy. But um, I'm gonna go back and grab his bottle and then we're gonna be saying thank you. Say hi. hi. Say thank you. Thank you. Say it again, say thank you. Thank you. Say love you. Thank you. Oh, that's all nice. Bye. Love you. Usually we would have went to the Comber Fair today because it's Friday and that's like the first day but it was raining so so hard that we just didn't decide to go um, and so we woke up super early and I worked midnights last night so he really needed a nap like by the time I got home from work he was awake so it was just kind of a shit situation but it is what it is we rolled with it um, as you guys can see, we're just at the pizza place right now. Um, we just got his panzerotti. We're just waiting for it to cook. And then we're going to go home and feed our kids. It's currently 10 o'clock, which is super late, but it is what it is. We already did eat dinner. We just went out and got a snack, um, got my medication. And okay, so it's kind of loud in here. We got the blowers going because, like I said, my room flooded because we got so much rain. But we got the blowers going and I got all the floor wiped up so far. So we're just gonna dry the rest of the floor. And this has never happened before to my family. So I'm a little upset because I was sleeping and I woke up and I thought the baby just spilled his bottle or cause sometimes he'll throw it and it explodes. But that's not the truth, what happened, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna get ready for bed. Watching some Coca Melon, as you guys know, that's our favorite bedtime show. He's over there playing. We had to move all of our furniture, but he's playing. Want your toys? Say please. Say please. Okay, let's get your toys. I just have his toys in here because I need to buy him a damn toy box. But I'm gonna grab him. Do you want Ellie? Do you want Ellie? 
Do you want Allie? Nice. Um, so he threw my phone in here. So we're going to see what else we can get in here. He has his teether. Does that one? My husband cut my clip off. He was calling me to ask me what he needed to bring down. Yeah. But let me show you guys the situation we're kind of dealing with. We used to have a table here next to my husband's side of the bed. And um, the east troughs, the water came in there and then was all over my floor. So we had a big blower there and that's drying that side of the floor. We had a mat there um, or a carpet, but now that is in the garbage because it was completely soaked and it was a shag carpet. Does anyone else drink coffee before bed or is it just this crazy girl? Um, my husband just brought down everything that he needed um, for the night and we have a fridge in our room so we usually bring down milk for Sylvie if he wakes up. Um, he usually sleeps all night, knock on wood, um, and he's just about to put Addy to bed. It's 11 o'clock. Um, we're probably gonna snuggle in bed and watch some TV, maybe not. Maybe we're just gonna go right to bed because my husband worked today, so he's probably tired. But um, yeah, so. Addie's watching her brand new TV that she got for her birthday and we're just kind of hanging out. I'm gonna read my book and get ready for bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow and happy Convo Fair weekend. Good morning, we're just leaving the house. Good morning guys, we're just eating breakfast. It is day two of Convo. We're just sitting right now eating some breakfast, waiting for the parade to start. Let Sylvie in there. It's currently 10 30. Right starts for 11. But we're so. What is that? Sylvie, what is that? That fire truck? <laughs> fire. Fire. and then we're gonna head out because it is super hot. We're probably gonna come back later. The rides aren't even worth it this year, but it's super, super hot. The kids are inside with their Mima right now just waiting until we have to go to the bike draw, but we're waiting and yeah, that's basically it. After the bike draw, we're gonna head out to Leamington so we can get some shirts for my husband and do some shopping. I think we're gonna take Addie home because she doesn't really wanna be out in the heat and we don't blame her. But Sylvie's really grumpy, I think he needs a nap, but I hope the heat stays away because I wanna go out tonight. Brownies. It's in between it's the one Yeah. Look up, Addy. Okay, 
Okay, so we finished the bike job. Both of my babies want bikes. Both of them. All right, guys, so we're back at the house right now. My babies both want a bike. In the 30 years, my husband had never won a bike or any of his family. We got three bikes this year. We got, my two kids got one and their cousin got one. We are super happy and so thankful. Sylvie got a little baby bike, as you guys can see, and Addie got a big girl bike. She doesn't know how to ride a bike, but this is the motive to get her riding. So he's in the back, he's super, super hot. It's literally 102 outside. It is currently four o'clock and we're gonna go out. We're gonna go out and um, go get my husband a couple of shirts and um, we're gonna go for some dinner. Where's your dinosaur? Uh oh. Oh no! Boo boo boo! Boo boo! Man! Boo boo! when it comes to a man we've been to three different stores when it comes to clothes like i don't understand he's like i don't like that one i don't like that one I'm like what anyway i got really burnt like super burnt but it's so hot outside so he's just playing with his toy we're gonna see if dad can get a shirt if he doesn't then we're gonna go to the next dress guys on. he finally got one but he only got one he might look like a dress on him. He might be. It might look like a dress, but I told you guys this man is pickier than shit. I guess apparently he can't have yellow or blue. He has yeah. to have an orange one. Yeah, it has to be orange. So I don't know. And like he was he's just he's just picky, okay? He's he's the pickiest man ever, babe. But look at this burn. Yeah, they were sixty five bucks. Look at this burn. Sixty five bucks for a shirt. Burn. I'll put cream on He doesn't care. My face is burnt too. $65 for a shirt! $65 for a shirt. For a sh one shirt. And now he's having a poop show. But we're gonna go try to find some food because we're hungry. Who's on poop show? You're having a poop show because it was $65. Well, I had coins though, so I had $11 on. Oh, that's good. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna go try to find some food because we starve in and it's 5 o'clock. Alright, we're at Chuck's Roadhouse. We're gonna eat some dinner. Oh, frick, I'm so burnt. Anyway, we're gonna eat some dinner. I know, what do you want? <laughs> what happened, Zoe? <laughs> 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 he must like it. Look 
Whatever. Is it good? All right, here, Daddy's got something for you. Come on. Look, Daddy got something for you. Look. Oh, that's bad. That's better. Well, that was horrible. Um, me and my husband went to Trucks Roadhouse. This dinner was awful. Limited, yeah, Limited, very bad service. Horrible. The girl was very grumpy, um, and she just didn't have waitress at like at a quarter or anything but anyway the food was way the not cooked food properly was not my lobster was so chewy it was awful it was you know when you cook lobster when you eat a lobster tail it's supposed to just fall apart it's supposed to be able to pull apart i had to use a knife that's so bad and then it. they just didn't they gave us and the manager off. didn't even come out and talk to us um usually the manager comes out and like apologizes around seven o'clock he usually goes to bed around eight as you guys can see i am so burnt my chest is also very very burnt so um in my face but we had a great calmer fair um the kids are home we've been playing he's gonna take his bath and then we're gonna put the kids to bed